OK, you've got £32,000. The great news, Suzanne, is that that's guaranteed. OK. Brilliant. This is for £64,000. Have a look at it. With which branch of the arts is Rachel Whiteread most associated? Ballet, photography, sculpture, fashion design. I have not got the faintest clue, so I would like to phone a friend, please. OK, now who would know? I don't know who would actually know, but I think I will phone John Stubbs. Not John Stubbs. Indeed. Who's he? <laughs> He's um, one of Ian's work colleagues. OK. Where's John? Back up in Yorkshire? Yeah. OK. Hello. John? Yeah? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, God, how are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I, was, I was quite pleased to hear from you. Um, now, I've got Suzanne here, Suzanne Disley. Okay. So, next voice here will be Suzanne. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of these, the right one, is worth £64,000. All right, John. OK. OK, fingers crossed, lots of luck. Suzanne, your time starts now in 30 seconds. Here we go. With which branch of the arts is Rachel Whitehead most associated? Ballet, photography, sculpture or fashion design? Could you repeat that, Suzanne? With which branch of the arts is Rachel Whitehead most associated? Ballet, photography, sculpture or fashion design? And what was that name again? Rachel Whitehead. Rachel Whitehead? Red. Whitehead. Time's up, sorry. Oh, John! I don't know either, so that's fine. I don't think he knew from the sound of it. He didn't no. know. Uh, well, listen, you might as well play this one. Uh, you've got a 50-50 if you want to use it. You can keep it back. It's up to you. I think I'll have a 50-50, Chris. I thought you might. OK. <laughs> uh, completely take away two wrong answers. Leave Suzanne the right answer and the one remaining random wrong answer. So one of those is worth £64,000. You're guaranteed 32. One of those is worth 64000 See, something's drawing me towards photography. Hmm. No, I'll go with sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> Did I blink and miss something? <laughs> Something's Converse drawing me to photography. But I'm going with sculpture. So I'm going with sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good at home here, isn't it? Uh, Final, it's your call, darling, and I cannot help you. There's nothing on my screen. Final answer. <sighs> no, apparently not. OK. Sculpture, final answer. Final answer. But you were going to say photography, weren't you? You were drawn to photography. Yeah. And if you had done, it would have been the wrong answer. You've just won 64. Oh, thank you. Where did that come from? Oh, yes. What on earth did that come from? Oh. What a great technique. <laughs> I think it's that one, so I'm going to go for something the completely one. different. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Right, now listen, you've got £64,000. That is your last lifeline. Have a look. I don't care. <laughs> take this one. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Go on, it's good. You got £64,000. Oh, that is good. It's fantastic. Have a look at number 12. You used up your third lifeline, but this is for £125,000. Here it is. It's question number 12. You're four away from one million. What is the traditional flavour of a heavy, moist type of cake called parkin? Ginger, vanilla, caramel, orange. Ginger. You weren't drawn to orange then and changed no. your mind at the last minute? No. Why are you so sure? It's definitely not vanilla. It's definitely not orange. Don't think it's caramel, so I'm going with ginger. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Give us a check. 
You had a good night? Yes. You enjoyed it? Yeah. It's getting better. You just won 120 <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, yeah. That's fantastic! I just want to go now. One? No. No, no, no. Stay. That's a quarter of a baby. God! <laughs> <laughs> oh. What happens if you have twins? You need two million then. <laughs> well. Have a look at this one. They're, oh. getting, they're getting nicer by the second. Brilliant. It is brilliant. You deserve it. One ticket. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. What will it mean? What will it mean immediately? I mean, you can walk away with that amount of money. Well, th that will mean that my mortgage is completely paid off. I can have some nice holidays, buy my family some nice things, and it's just absolutely brilliant. It's that security for the future now. No mortgage. Well, listen then, my darling, do not lose it. Serious business. If you give me a wrong answer to the next question, you lose 90, watch my lips, 93,000 pounds. Yeah. Okay, serious, yeah. serious whinge. Here it comes, it's question number 13. Complete the title of the 1993 Booker Prize winning novel by Roddy Doyle, Paddy Clark. Ha ha ha. He he he. Ho ho ho. Hoo hoo hoo. No, I'm not going to complete the title, because I haven't a clue. That's why you smiled, wasn't it? Yeah. I suddenly saw a smile, and I thought, that's either a smile because you know it, or it's a smile of huge relief. I just want to go, yeah. <laughs> You've been great, but I want you to go as well. I do not want you to lose 93,000. Final answer, you can take yeah, the money. Absolute final answer, taking the money. OK, give her a huge hand. Suzanne Bisley goes back to Big House in West Yorkshire. £125,000. Fantastic. Brilliant. I can tell you, and I know you couldn't care less, but Absolutely I can tell you. Absolutely not, no. I can tell you by way of information, because you'll want to know anyway. Paddy Clark, ha ha ha, was the right answer. She goes away, £125,000 better off. Well played. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Well played, my darling. Enjoy it. Lovely girl, Suzanne Disney there, goes back to the bank with some money of her own at last, a lot of money, £125,000 worth. Great girl. Now, we've got ten brand-new contestants, all 